Hello and welcome to Subliminal Hacking. My name is Dale Pearson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Metasploit with Beef, which is a really awesome configuration. Essentially, once you've successfully hooked a browser with Beef, you can choose one of the many Metasploit exploits and at the click of a button, click configure your Metasploit job. From here, you can then use one of Beef's other modules to further that attack and hopefully get that shell. Now, in order to follow along with the video, you will require an installation of Beef along with Metasploit and some form of database support, such as Postgres. From here, we'll show you how to configure the two tools to communicate with each other, and then show you a quick example of how you may carry out attack with this configuration. So I hope you enjoy the video, so let's get to it. Thanks. Okay, just to start, we're gonna remind ourselves of what Beef looks like without any Metasploit modules enabled. So as you can see, no mention of Metasploit. And when we look at the Metasploit module tree, again, that's zero. So we're just going to log out and then clear our beef database so we've got no instances recorded and make the required configurations to beef. So we're looking for the config.yaml file in the root of beef and from here we're going to look to where it mentions Metasploit being enabled and change the entry from false to true. Now we're going to move into the extensions and Metasploit directory and again we're looking for the config.yaml file here so we can make the required changes. The important thing to look for here is if you have got a custom path for Metasploit you need to define that if it hasn't already been defined above. The host we need to change that to our local IP address. The password can stay the same but our callback host also needs to be updated to our local IP address. So we just paste that in now. and we're good to go. So we're done with B for a moment. We're just going to switch our focus over to Metasploit. So as mentioned already, you should have some form of database configured. So this is what my database.yml file looks like. Nothing simple, but as mentioned, we're using Postgres. So now we can start Metasploit using our database configuration. I don't have Redline installed, which is why we're getting that error, so you can ignore that. So now we load the MSG RPC plugin, making sure again that our server host IP and the password that we defined in that extension's Metasploit config is accurate. Once we've done that, we can see we've successfully loaded the plugin and we can launch Beef where we'll see all those lovely Metasploit exports being made available to us. Currently there's no jobs running because we haven't yet executed anything with Beef. So let's move across to our local host, exploit ourselves and hook our browser. Now that's successful. You can see we've got over 220 Metasploit exploits available to us. So as a quick demonstration, we're going to use the Adobe cool type exploit. We're going to set up a reverse HTTPS interpreter session on 443. And we're going to exploit that uh, using the URI path through a iframe, which should be transparent to the user. Okay, so we initiate that. We can see on the local host that there's been no pop-ups. But there we go, we have our session. Now you can see this session is fully interactive. You can grab a shell and confirm our IP address is 192.168.199.131. Just confirm that's the same on the host. 